Hey guys, I'm here with you for another book review today. Now this time I've decided to do a little something different and review a non-fiction book, and that book is Physics of the Impossible by Dr. Michio Kaku. Okay, now a little about this book, well... Well, it's not really a plot because it is a non-fiction book, but it is rather entertaining because it tells about the science behind science fiction. Okay, the way it's divided is, of course, there's the introduction where Dr. Kaku talks about his fascination with science fiction as a child and how he got interested in with science. Like, for example, the guy somehow created created an it was a created an atom smash er using parts from a gar a garbage dump near his house no don't ask me how he did that but then again he is a genius and he talks about how he decided if he didn't pay his dues in this case studying physics he'd always be some crackpot rambling on about fringe theories so he decided to learn the science behind the fiction, and he's created this book to do a, to help us do the same. Now, it's divided into three sections. Type 1 impossibilities, which are things that could, could become possible within a few years, maybe even a decade or less. That stuff like force fields, teleportation, meeting aliens, then there's the section where it's type 2 impossibilities, which are things that might take a while to occur, such as faster than light travel and time travel, and type 3 impossibilities, which are things where they'd only be possible if we radically rewrote the laws of physics, like precognition and perpetual energy machines. So. So one of the things I liked about this book is the way that he sort of will at the beginning explain all of the places that that these things appear in fiction, like he'll talk about the use of force fields in Star Wars or in the chapter on perpetual energy machines, he mentioned how that popped up in The Simpsons and they even referenced how that violates the laws of thermodynamics. Yeah, so the book's got a very conversational sort of style. It does talk about science, but it's nothing too technical, something that the layman would be able to understand. Now, as far as people who don't like science liking this book, honestly, I can't give an opinion on that because, frankly, I can't imagine what living a life not liking science would be like. Since if you can guess by my YouTube name, I do like science. So yeah, so that's of course why I picked this book. And it's not just the stuff about the fiction this book talks about, it also has things that are general, that are generally useful in science as well, such as from this I learned that from t the ancient Greeks onward, we've known that if you can prove something in mathematics, you can prove it in the real world. So, this is a great... So, like I said, this is a great book for those of you who want to learn the science behind the fiction and science lover everywhere, and, um, my family just got home and there's gonna be noise, so I better wrap this up. So like I said, Physics of the Impossible by Dr. Michio Kaku.